Have you ever wondered what happens after we die? It's a universal question, a mystery that has intrigued the human mind for millennia. Throughout history, across cultures, societies and religions, the question of life after death has been a topic of unending debate and fascination. From the ancient Egyptians who believed in a journey to an afterworld, to the Buddhists who subscribe to the idea of reincarnation, the concept of an afterlife isn't new or isolated, but what if there's more than faith or philosophy to this age-old question? Enter the world of near-death experiences, or NDEs as they're commonly known. These are reported encounters or perceptions that occur during a close brush with death. Individuals who have experienced NDEs often describe a journey into another realm, encounters with bright lights, angelic beings and even loved ones who have passed away. Could these near-death experiences offer a glimpse into the afterlife? Over the years, individuals have reported extraordinary experiences on the brink of death. For centuries, people have recounted near-death experiences or NDEs that seem to defy our understanding of life and death. These experiences often involve traversing another worldly realm, encountering bright lights, angelic beings, and even interacting with loved ones who've passed on. One famous case is that of neurosurgeon Eben Alexander. During a week-long coma induced by an aggressive form of meningitis, Alexander claims to have journeyed into an afterlife, a realm of vivid landscapes populated by angelic beings. He even conversed with a deceased sibling he had no prior knowledge of. His experience, documented in his bestseller Proof of Heaven, asserts the authenticity of these experiences, suggesting that they represent something more than mere hallucinations or dreams. But Alexander is not alone. Thousands of individuals have reported similar experiences, each unique yet sharing common elements. Many describe journeying through a dark tunnel towards a bright, welcoming light. Others recount meeting angelic beings or deceased loved ones, and some even report a life review, a panoramic playback of their lives' events. These accounts are not limited to any particular culture or religion. They span across boundaries and beliefs, suggesting a universal phenomenon. Whether it's a businessman in New York, a farmer in rural India, or a child in Australia, these experiences are uniformly transformative, often leading to profound changes in the individual's lives. While skeptics attribute these experiences to physiological responses, such as the brain's reaction to extreme stress or the release of certain chemicals, the individuals who've experienced these phenomena remain convinced of their authenticity. They argue that these experiences felt more real than anything they've experienced in their waking lives. These accounts suggest that consciousness may exist beyond our physical bodies. But what does science have to say about these near-death experiences? Indeed, the world of science has its own interpretations of these phenomena, and they're as intriguing as they are diverse. Many scientists consider near-death experiences, or NDEs, as natural physiological responses to extreme stress or trauma. You see, our brain is an intricate network of systems, some of which can act in opposition. In times of extreme stress, such as a near-death situation, these opposing systems may be activated simultaneously. This can lead to unusual and intense experiences that we often associate with NDEs, bright lights, a sense of detachment from the body, or even encounters with otherworldly beings may all be products of this simultaneous activation. Let's delve a little deeper. Picture a soldier on the battlefield under fire and fearing for his life. His brain, sensing imminent danger, might trigger a release of chemicals designed to protect the body from harm. These chemicals, including adrenaline and endorphins, can alter our perception of reality, potentially leading to experiences that seem to transcend the physical world. Such theories suggest that NDEs might not be spiritual experiences after all, but rather natural responses to extraordinary circumstances. The brain, in its remarkable complexity, might create these experiences as a form of defense mechanism, a way to cope with the unimaginable stress of facing death. However, these physiological explanations, while compelling, are not universally accepted in the scientific community. There are those who argue that these theories, though they may account for some aspects of NDEs, cannot fully explain the profound and transformative nature of these experiences, yet not all scientists agree with these interpretations. There are those who believe that near-death experiences, or NDEs, transcend purely scientific explanations. This belief is not held by some fringe group, but by credible researchers like psychologist Emily Williams Kelly. Kelly, among others, views NDEs as a legitimate field of study, one that goes beyond simple physiological responses to stress or trauma. 
The experiences reported by countless individuals throughout history, she argues, cannot be merely dismissed as the brain's last-ditch attempt to make sense of impending doom. Instead, Kelly suggests that these experiences might offer valuable insights into the nature of consciousness itself. If consciousness can indeed exist outside the body, as many NDE survivors assert, then our current understanding of the mind, the brain, and their interconnectedness may need to be revised. Such a revelation, if proven true, could have profound implications. It might lead to a paradigm shift, not only in neuroscience, but also in philosophy, religion, and the very way we perceive our existence. If consciousness is not confined to our physical form, then what becomes of us when that form expires? Could there be, as many NDE survivors claim, an existence beyond the physical realm? This perspective also opens up new avenues for exploring the mystery of the afterlife. If consciousness can persist beyond bodily death, then the afterlife may not be a mere product of religious or philosophical speculation, but a reality waiting to be explored and understood. Of course, these ideas are not without controversy. Many in the scientific community remain skeptical, insisting on more concrete evidence, but researchers like Kelly continue their work undeterred, convinced that the study of NDEs might reveal truths about our existence that we have yet to fully comprehend. In the end, the question remains, could there be life beyond death?